What's up, Cloud Life? How we doing, baby? Y'all know what time it is. Welcome to Overflow Nexus, the channel of faith, trading, and wealth, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And before we get started with anything, y'all know I have to give my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ some praise and worship. And I do have a message today that the Lord has given me, so I will be getting into that. And I, uh, <laughs> I kid you not, y'all, the Lord woke me up literally at 3 a.m. the other day. <laughs> and y'all know me, I always talk about this. I like sleeping, I like my sleep, but these days I don't get rest because the Lord be keeping me up, be speaking to me, and I just be in my thoughts too. So the Lord gave me this message, and a lot of people... Uh, always say this, that the Lord gives his hardest battles to uh, his strongest soldiers. The Lord says that's a lie. That's not true. That is far from the truth. That's not even close to the truth at all. The Lord does not give you battles. He said some of the things, sometimes these battles are situations that you create yourselves. Because if the Lord gave you a battle, you would not survive it. If the Lord gave you a battle, you would not survive because he is all powerful. He is omnipotent. He is the most powerful being in the world, in the universe. So if he gave you a battle, you would not survive it. It's situations that you create yourself that are battles. Because the Bible says that the Lord will fight your battles, not he will give you battles. This is the misconception people have and this is why it's important that people hear this message and I am going to uh, speak what the, thus says the Lord because this is important this is not me so Lord as you speak through me may you increase and may I decrease so the Holy Spirit may have its way today and speak the word that you have me to speak on to the, your people Father God and I bless these people in the mighty name of Jesus with your word in Jesus name amen so this is the message that he gave me so I'm gonna read uh, the scripture that he gave me today and this this is something that I also found on the internet as well uh, it was a picture that I, I came across when he woke me up and this is what the picture says the picture says this because when he woke me up he said you know go on your phone and check you know go to the internet and I, I typed in some uh, stuff uh, like okay the Lord gives you battles and you know that's far from the truth. This is the picture that came up, and I'm going to post it on Twitter so y'all can see it. Uh, but the picture says, God doesn't give the hardest battles to his toughest soldiers. He creates the toughest soldiers through life's hardest battles. That's why the Bible says, those that endure to the very end shall be saved. It's enduring. It's about conquering those battles and giving God the glory not inviting battles because god's not going to give you no battle because he's not going to give you something that you can't bear more than, than you could bear because this is what the bible says about our god he says for i know know the plans i have for you this is jeremiah 29 11. it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future so does that sound like a god that's going to give you a battle no god's not giving you a battle it's the thing that what's the thing is you're creating these battles for yourself you know how battles come about god says we create battles ourselves and it's because we are not patient in going to him those that don't acknowledge the lord in all their ways is what the problem is God said, acknowledge me in all thy ways and shall and I shall direct your past. That's what he said. If you're not acknowledging God in anything that you do, you're creating a situation or a scenario for yourself that's going to be harmful because your heart is deceitful above all things. You think you're, you being led by your heart, your feelings and emotions is going to help you? No, that's far from the truth. The truth is this. Don't create your own light. This is what God's saying. Don't create your own light. And this is a quote from Neil Anderson. Don't create your own light. God is saying, go ahead and do it your way. I will allow it, but misery will follow. Situations that you put yourself in, if you don't acknowledge the Lord, brings about destruction on yourself. Sin is a factor. Being stiff-necked, not being obedient to the Lord is a factor. And lacking instructions and in going to the Lord is a factor. If you don't acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and you're ignoring wisdom, because the Bible says uh, that wisdom, uh, finding wisdom, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And those that despite wisdom and instruction are foolish. If you do not 
uh, heed to the Lord's wisdom and instruction, you will find misery. You will find uh, things that are going to befall you. This has to do with relationships. Uh, relationships is the best example. Relationships, if you are not acknowledging God about a relationship and you're so quick to uh, shun someone because of, uh, you know, you're in your feelings, you, know, you may not like that person or whatever the case may be. The Lord may say that person is for you, but you're not listening to the Lord about that situation because you're in your feelings and emotions. You're going to miss out on God's blessings and you're going to uh, not be in a good relationship because you're going after stuff that you like, what you like to see, what you like to deal with, what you like to feel. This goes with business, how you deal with people in business. If people don't have good integrity, Lord, should I do business with that person? And if the Lord tells you, no, don't do business with that person. This is why it's detrimental to everybody that does not acknowledge the Lord. It's because you are not acknowledging him in things that you need to be acknowledging him in. You're everything. This is everything. Relationships, business, uh, going about how to uh, be have more integrity, have, how to have uh, work in the spirit of excellence and how you do business or work work for somebody. You have to understand that everything is spiritual based. It's not uh, my feelings or my thought based. It's what is led by the Lord, what is led by him. Because if you're not following the spirit of the Lord, what spirit are you following? You're either following your heart, which is of the world, which is demonic, or you're following the antichrist spirit, spirit which is demonic. So you're only following uh, two spirits. You're either following the Holy Spirit or you're following the Antichrist spirit. Anything that's anti-God or not God, of God is Antichrist. So that's, this message is very impo important for those that say, you know, you know, that have been wondering why their battles have been so tough. It's because you are creating these battles for yourself. God's not giving you these battles. <laughs> A lot of situations that you, if you really are honest with yourself... A lot of the situations in your life that you lived could have been avoided had you acknowledged God, had you sat down and took the time out to say, Lord, should I deal with this situation? How should I deal with this situation? God's going to direct you in all things. He said, acknowledge me in all thy ways, everything. All means everything. In all thy ways, acknowledge me and I shall direct thy paths. And he said paths because he's going to direct you in the paths of all the things that you ask him to, that you ask of him. <laughs> you guys, God's always answering your prayers, but you're too hard-headed, too stiff-necked to see that. And that's the problem with you. You're too prideful. And that's a form of why, you're why you have a downfall in your life, because you have pride that you have not uh, put aside yet. Acknowledge the Lord in everything that you do and let him guide you. So that's the message I have for you guys today. I don't care if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> Stop being a stiff neck. Stop being prideful. Acknowledge God in everything that you do and your life will change. You will see better situations. I pray that for you right now in the name of Jesus. It's done. I, I say that with confidence. Your life will change. Just acknowledge him and your life will change. Be blessed, you guys. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the market. Uh, we're going to get right into the market watch. So let's get into that real quick. As you see here, the market's kind of green today, a little green here, a little red there, a little blood in the market. You know, so it's a little nice. Uh, Bitcoin dominance went up by 1%, sitting at 41.01%. Uh, Price is currently up at uh, 42,042. Uh, 42, uh, so it's interesting to see market green today. It's up 1.35%. You see Ethereum's up. 0.57% sitting at the price of 3124 and XRP is red, which is interesting because usually XRP is pretty red. Uh, I mean, pretty green when, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum go up. So this is interesting today. But today, XRP is down 0.62%, uh, sitting at the price of uh, 73 cents. So that's interesting. But I still believe that the market will go down further. And I will give you my analysis on why. Uh, we'll take a look at that right here in a bit.
All right, so looking at this market, if y'all remember, the last time I gave y'all an update was on Twitter. I gave you my targets. It hit the target perfectly. You guys, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying that. I never will say that. But I will say this. Stop doubting me. Stop saying that my TA is not good because I showed you proof. I gave you video evidence that the TA is on point. Stop saying that Ichimoku don't work. It's because you are either a hater or you just don't like what you see uh, because the market is going down whether you like it or not but right now it's hard to say if the market's going to go down at this immediate moment because there's no data supporting it but i will give you more insight into what i'm seeing we did hit our uh, 72 cent target perfectly near perfectly and then right now price is still underneath the cloud showing still showing bearish tendencies so taking ichimoku off the chart uh we see here that the market is still pushing uh in this zone so buyers need to hold this uh 72 cent uh 73 cent level this range if we can't hold this range market will plummet and i've been saying this for a while but there's momentum showing here uh that on the uh four hour rci that the market is in bearish territory and that we're making a small retrace right now to the upside so depending on how big this retrace may be or how long it may last it might not last too long but we'll see uh, but the market is still bleeding out for XRP. It's ultimately going to be decided by Bitcoin. I'll see what Bitcoin has to say. But looking at it on the bigger time frame, the daily, uh, I do see that the key June's coming down and the uh, Tinkinson's coming up, which is kind of a good sign. We want to see them cross for a good chance to move back higher. Like I said, we need to hold this level. So we might see the market range a little bit. If we don't range, what's got to end up happening, we'll break this lower level. And the next targets for XRP will be $0.62. Cents, and if we break that, it will be $0.56. Cents. So be careful, you guys. Be watching the market. We still are overall bearish. I do still see strong bearish market tendencies. It's just going to matter. What's going to matter the most is if we could hold this $0.72, cent, $0.73 cent level. So that being said, be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name. And don't worry. Just stay focused on what you're doing. And let's have a good time getting these crypto money, this crypto money. All right. Be blessed in Jesus name. Peace.